How's it going, Bladesters? Working to bring you specifications you can relate to. So a lot of times I use the Lyman pull gauge to get you the weights. So as far as the deployment and also for how much it takes to take it out of your pocket, I uh, use the Lyman pull gauge for that. Uh, so that's going to be giving you those specifications you can relate to so you can have those educated decisions on the knives that you're looking at and possibly want to purchase. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at one from Tuya Knives. So this is the Talisman. Uh, so this is the one with the micarta scale on it. Uh, so that is an option that you can get. So this is one of their older knives. So this is one of the first knives that they came out with. And then they did offer micarta scales as well. So if you have one of these, or if you have one uh, that's basically that you want to pick up on the secondary market, uh, you can pick up these scales for $7 uh, through uh, the tuyanifeus.com. So Dave and Rebecca Warren. Check this one out. If this is something you're looking at, you want to check out a little bit further, stick around and let's get into it. So if you're buying this brand new uh, from tuyanifeus.com, you can actually do a discount code as well. So VIP5, the number five, I will give you, now basically it'll cover shipping for it, uh, but you're gonna get the knife itself. So if you do not have a talisman, uh, then you can buy the knife and then also buy uh, the um, the scales for it. And then that would cover basically $5 instead of $7. So if you do have this on a secondary market, then that's where you can buy uh, one of these. Uh, but the kit itself comes with the scales. Uh, so one thing that was kind of a downside to it, I did order the black scale from, uh, for the G10, uh, but uh, I did have to damage it because it's not really meant to come off. Uh, so it's just an option available. So uh, right now I don't have any black scales available to it. So if I wanted to switch back, uh, that's not an option uh, for that. So that's one thing where it kind of started and then it kind of progressed a little bit because there is a little bit of massaging you have to do uh, for the talisman to get it to be functioning properly. And then it, it's not some of them, not all of them, uh, but so you might have better luck than I did, uh, but you basically get the scales for it. So that's the micarta scales uh, for both sides. You also get a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, so this is the original one that comes with it. So it's not a deep carry clip. You get the deep carry clip for it. it comes with all the new hardware for it. And also it goes away from the proprietary pivot. Uh, so this is the pivot uh, screw that it was before. And then this is a new one. And so this one should be, or would be better if it was just a little bit deeper because when using an actual bit for it, it is kind of uh, just on more kind of surface. So I'd like to have that just a little bit deeper uh, for that uh, that actual Torx bit. And it actually does have a backspacer uh, factory wise, uh, but I did not think this actually matched well with it. So I just took it off. So I don't have that backspacer in there anymore. So I just left it open construction. So those are all the things that come with it. Uh, so you get the bag of screws, all the little hardware, uh, but that's all the kit that you get. And then, so it's either a $5 extra if you want to order it together, if you do not have one, or you can do it as $7 for just the scales. So if you do buy this um, on the secondary market, or if you do have one already sitting around somewhere, and you just want to upgrade to micarta scales, you can do that as well. So that's kind of the good thing about that whole uh, process. Uh, as far as that goes. So uh, welcome also to the folks that are joining in. If you're not, uh, weren't, weren't part of the channel before, thank you for joining in. Uh, if you uh, are uh, new to the channel, check it out. Check out some of the other videos um, going on as well. Uh, but we're gonna look at this one. So the hand sizing is gonna be what we're gonna start off with. Uh, so that's gonna be more of in this upward scale. And then, so you can actually put your hand down on it, print it out, see where it fits for you. So we're gonna start with the adult female hand for that. And then we'll roll over uh, to the adult male hand. So you can kind of get that idea as far as what it's going to be like for you uh, if you actually now don't have it. Uh, so also the steel on this one is going to be in an OS 10. Uh, so OS 10 is going to be roughly about uh, 440 C. Uh, so corrosion resistance about 27th percentile across the board. Uh, hardness about 28th percentile. And a lot of these numbers are in ideal situations. So there are things in the manufacturing process uh, the way that it was uh, either heat treated, where there was ground, uh, will make, make some of these numbers different, uh, but that's gonna be kind of the baseline. And then edge retention side, gonna be compared to all the other super steels out there, it's about 37th percentile. So there's one that you can actually bring back fairly easily, uh, whether you're through stropping or actually doing another sharpening side for it, but really you could probably keep it up with a pretty good strop. Uh, so for size wise, uh, we'll start off with uh, basically the Delica. So that's gonna be where that sits for that. And we have a adult, I mean, a, a full size, a Griptoian. And one of them that's a micarta one, uh, there's kind of a mixed bag as far as what people think about it, but the Stat Gear Osis, I actually like that knife quite a bit. And then you do have, uh, this one is a Civivi, there's a Statera, 
and I did add the thumb studs on that. So I think it actually works really well. It already has the gold liner, so I did add uh, the brass uh, thumb stud on there as well uh, for that knife. So those are some of the comparisons as far as sizing goes. Uh, but uh, for this, now we're going to look at now some of the things. Now, so this is about 6.1 uh, ounces. So it is a fairly heavy knife in comparison to some of the other ones out there. Uh, but it's not something that's going to be really anything that's going to hold you down very much. Uh, but uh, it is noticeable when you kind of have it between knives. But some people like that as far as actually have something that's pretty substantial. So you could still do some uh, skeletonization on your own if you would like. Because uh, there is no skeletonization uh, for the knife uh, on the inside of those um, those liners. And then this one is about, again, $7 if you want to buy the Micarta Scales by itself. Uh, so if you want to pick it up, uh, it's going to be about $74 together. So if you buy uh, the new knife, plus you buy the Micarta Scales at the same time, which adds $5 to it, use VIP 5, it'll basically make it free shipping. So $74 is what you're going to have um, out the door to your door. Uh, for this knife here and we'll look at as far as what the pull test is uh, for the knife to see kind of where there's going to be to actually deploy the blade so that's going to be using the pull gauge here and we'll see uh, what it is so normally about two to three pounds is normally a pretty good level uh, for the knife to see as far as deployment uh, to be able to actually get a pretty good action but four pounds at uh, 13.7 ounces so it is on the higher scale for it uh, the jimping isn't really too bad uh, for the actual tab itself so it doesn't actually uh, won't cause a lot of uh, discomfort for that uh, but it is something that is uh, not not the most fidget friendly uh, for that uh, but uh, another thing that did happen for it uh, with the micarta scales so uh, just kind of a possibility not going to be a guarantee but uh, the actual uh, cutout for the liner lock uh, it wasn't working exactly properly, uh, so that's where I had to actually take a Dremel to it a little bit, uh, sand it down to actually um, be able to have the liner released properly. And then also the um, the lock bar, I did um, manually push it over a little bit because there was a little bit of rock uh, as far as up and down uh, when I put on to the scale. So in the G10 variant, it didn't have that issue, but for the uh, once I put on the actual micarta, it had some things that kind of massage out as far as the um, some of those things that were happening. Uh, so that's something that wasn't um, ideal uh, for the knife. But it did uh, get a little bit of discount from Dave Warren over at tuyanifeus.com. So I did purchase the knife though, so it wasn't given to the channel or anything. Uh, so this is one that I actually that was interested in and I picked up. So this one just has the light switch as far as the deployment method uh, for the knife. Uh, so you just have the one method of deployment. It does have a really solid uh, deployment uh, for it though, uh, so that's something that is pretty good. Uh, as far as the actual uh, behind the edge thickness, it actually cuts really well uh, for this knife. Uh, so when actually using it uh, through cardboard, it actually you know, sliced pretty decently. Uh, so there's basically that full flat grind for it. It has a little bit of area where if you ha do have a sharpener, you can still use it uh, for this level here. But it's about six sheets of paper, so basically go to your printer, take out six sheets of paper, and then that's how big or how thick this is behind the edge, at least on the belly portion of it. And then the actual degree of deployment, uh, so when you actually uh, are closing it down, when it actually goes onto the blade, it's basically from open to on the blade is about 22 degrees. So that's still in a fairly good spot, so I figure uh, about uh, anything 20 degrees or less as far as that uh, deployment, uh, the, the ramp. Is going to be a pretty decent one anywhere from 20 to 30 uh, is okay and then anything over 30 uh, is going to be kind of not great uh, where the actual um, the ramp should be a little bit better or closer so right hand tip up uh, so that's where you can see on the picture there as far as how it'd be in your pocket so that's only one carry method for this knife so that's right hand tip up and then to actually take it out of your pocket so I was actually able to measure that um, as far as how much weight it took to take out. So taking out the, the weight of the knife itself, uh, this is a one pound, uh, 2.4 ounces to actually take it out of your pocket. So it actually is really low on that. I didn't have any worries about it falling out of my pocket, but uh, that is a fairly uh, low number uh, for that as well. Sharpness wise, it came in at 234 uh, to the lowest point of a, a utility razor blade, but also to probably the sharpest level for a new high-end cutlery. So it actually is a fairly sharp blade 
uh, from the factory. I didn't do any touch-ups for that before I did that test. Uh, so that's actually really uh, quite good for that. Uh, but it is, again, for general comments for it, uh, it is going to be a little bit heavier, uh, still doable. Some modifications that you're going to take for it. Uh, for myself, I would be kind of a borrow for this. Again, this is one of Tuya Knife's uh, original ones. Uh, so they, they have come uh, quite a ways from even for this model. Uh, so you might have a different experience with it as far as what you had to do uh, for your knife. Uh, but for me, it's a borrow. It's still one that I'm keeping around, uh, but I personally uh, prefer the Stat Gear Asus um, over the Tuya knife. And so this is one that I actually like quite a bit better. Uh, and actually the deep carry pocket clip, not as stylish, but it is a really full deep carry clip for it. And then this is the liner lock as well. So that's what I might take on it as far as buy bar or avoid. Uh, check it out and let me know as far as in the comments down below. And if you made it this far, I mean, consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know that it's going in the right direction. I appreciate all the input. I appreciate the folks that are checking it out. And thank you very much for your time.